Oh god, I just got invited for my on-site. I don't know anything. How to study for technical interview, how to study for technical interview. Okay, okay, ultimate guide, ultimate guide to acing. Okay, okay. Okay, good websites for practice. Good websites for coding practice problems. Okay, what the hell, there's so many. What are all of these? What do, how do I, what is the, what do I use? I use all of these? Uh, this is too stressful. I'm just gonna cancel the interview. No, thank you. I am not coming. All right, but seriously, guys, the main ones that we're dealing with here are Elite Code and Hacker Inc. Although I do promote Pramp a lot, it's still not the main one. We're dealing with Elite Code and Hacker Inc. A lot of people like these websites, but which one is better? There's a lot of arguments that go on. People treat this like it's Mortal Kombat. Round one, fight. <laughs> Okay, maybe it is Mortal Kombat, but I think the best way for us to finally end this debate is to just go through both of the platforms uh, piece by piece and do some comparisons here. So these are the respective landing pages when you first log into the sites. So of course, you have to create an account. I just log in with my GitHub account on both of them. It's very simple to sign up and make an account. That's no problem. So the first thing we'll notice on the Lee Code landing page is the posts, right? These catch our eyes. So these are just trending posts. If we scroll down, we have some news. Uh, it's pretty intuitive user interface. It's very nice, very neat. There's nothing really spamming us ad-wise. And uh, it's, it's also intuitive to find the problems and the other features. And we have our profile. Everything is very simple. As for HackerRank's landing page, it's pretty similar. We also have the profile up here, but instead of the posts and news from Leak Code, we actually have just the stuff we were previously working on, as well as how completed it is, so like percentage of completion. Uh, I definitely like this a little bit better since I don't really read the posts too often. The posts can be useful sometimes, but uh, just being taken to what you were last working on, if you were struggling with something that you couldn't complete and just having easy access to that, sometimes you forget what you were working on last time. So this is really nice. I actually really like this uh, about Hacker Inc. So let's navigate to the problems on Lee Code. So this is the problem list on Lee Code. It's just single problems and a bunch of filters where you could search the individual problems. Now on HackerRank, it's set up a little bit differently. We don't have these filters up here. We actually have it filtering down here using buttons. Instead, um, we can enter tracks and there's actually different sections compared to just algorithms, data structures, problems. Uh, it's algorithms, data structures, mathematics. You can learn specific languages. It's a lot more built out uh, instead of mostly just a technical interview platform. You can actually practice skills just related to programming. You don't even have to be studying for technical interviews. So that's really awesome. Uh, there's also some tutorials down here, which I've done a few of, and they're pretty cool. So if we were to compare the number of problems, it looks like Leak Code is at 1,285 problems. Holy crap, that's a lot. But we do have to account for the fact that Premium is going to knock off probably around a third of those problems. So on HackRank, we actually don't know how many total problems there are. There's definitely quite a few, but where Leak Code is geared towards mostly algorithms, data structures, technical interview study guide prep, uh, and has 1,285. HackerRank has the interview preparation kit with 69 problems, so that's really nothing compared to 1,285. But we do have to account for these algorithms and data structures filters, which is going to be similar to these types of problems, and it can be used to study for your interviews. So we don't know how many problems there are, but there's definitely a bit more. I would say Lee Code overall has much more technical interview prep material than HackerRank in general. But we can account for the fact that HackerRank also has just regular programming skills here.
and also just some tutorials down at the bottom. So where Lee Code can't really on-ramp you to a programming language that well, it, it has a tough time like on-ramping you to get prepared for these problems. You can kind of start off with some easier stuff here on HackRank and move into the technical interview problems to study. So let's take a look at what a problem actually looks like. So here on LeetCode, we have the problem to sum. It looks like we get a like ratio of people that like it. We could favorite it. We could share the problem to a few places. Uh, the description's pretty short here, and we get a nice little test case right here. Some hints. And here's the editor right on the right side. We have a bunch of languages. Look at that. Uh, all the languages you need. On HackerRank, we can look at a problem, and what do we have? Well, we have the difficulty right over here. On the right side is compared to the left with leak code, the author, uh, discussion, the editorial submission, that's all up here as well. Uh, you can rate the challenge using stars, so there's no likes. I think likes are better because you could see the sheer amount of people that actually liked it compared to disliked it, where stars doesn't really tell you that much didn't even look like the stars were actually filled in as well so that was interesting now the description is super long and the way that they break it up on hacker rank is kind of confusing compared to leak code leak code is very straightforward it tells you what to do it gives you some notes and then it gives you an example or some test cases on hacker rank it tells you what to do it tells you a function description input format constraints it can get really confusing really fast with all these different sections here the output format sample input zero sample input one explanation zero i don't know it just gets a little bit confusing the difference between leak code and hacker rank as far as the editor goes is the fact that hacker rank is going to leave this chunk of code where it's reading in the input stream and then it's going to have the method for you sometimes it'll even force you to take input and do stuff with it whereas leak code is very clean it's just going to have the one method set up for you super nice and ready to go no input reading no junk code down there that can confuse you it's just super nice look at that it's just a few lines Hacker ranks, look at that, it's kind of messy. And uh, I'd say the editor is even just a little bit nicer over here. It's just cleaner than Le uh, Hacker Rank. Now we do have support for all of the languages. It looks like there's even more support for different languages on Hacker Rank than there is on Lee Code, but it's not that big of a deal because um, most people, it covers all the popular ones, right? I guess it would suck if you were, you know, doing Erlang or D or something like that, but who's really using those? So here's a really important part of both platforms is the editorial. Now, the editorials on HackerRank are definitely a little bit more confusing, I would say, than leak code. I mean, look at this. Like, what is all of this? It's not that neat. I mean, look at this code. It's not like, I, I don't know. It's just not that good. If we look at the editorial on leak code, look how nice this is. I mean, look at this. Like, you got the pro the fact that they have different approaches in the solutions they have the code highlighted and ready to copy over with the language you could just copy it like that the space and time complexity analysis for each approach they break it up and they put they have clear separations look how nice the user interface is we're on hacker rank look you got one guy one editorial dude writing code no color coding it's just, look how jumbled up this is. I mean, you could say that I picked a bad example, but I just picked a random example. So, okay, here is the time complexity. I guess I didn't notice that, but okay. What is this? O of absolute value of S cubed? What is that? I mean, come on. We're, I'm trying to deal with O of N, big O notation of N. I don't want mathematical analysis. I want big O notation with O of N, please. Thank you. Now we can also see that Lee code has a bunch of nice, simple comments out here. People comment their solutions. There's likes and dislikes on them. If we look down here, there's nothing. So that's kind of sucks already. Now, if we go to the discussion, so let's check out the discussion now. So the discussion in hacker rank, you can sort by recency and votes. And if you go to the discussion 
in leak code you can do most recent you, there's a few more filters but really the only ones you're going to want to look at is most votes anyway or most posts maybe now nah, most votes is fine so leak code has a few more filters that's fine it doesn't really matter uh, this is just kind of whack compared to leak codes leak codes just user interfaces just so much nicer look at this it's just way better so we do have likes on HackerRank for the comments in the dis uh, discussion, which is nice, but no color-coded code. And it's kind of like a tree structure where you have to actually scroll to the right. This isn't even taking up the full page for some reason. It's just making me scroll. So I don't know what's up with that. Okay, now there's color coding. I don't know. It's just so messy, like looking at all of this stuff and all the comments like this. Whereas in Lee code, look at that. It's just bit broken down into these, like, one little, um, whatever. The, it's almost like a table or some kind of structure like that with all these rows. And then look at that. You get the solution, and then you get comments on the solution. This is amazing. All of the most voted or top liked posts in the Lee code discussion for the code are usually optimal solutions and usually super readable and really good, almost as good as just the regular solution. And most of the time, if you go to the discussion and you looked at, look at some of the top voted ones, they're going to be just as good, if not better than the actual solution. And there's gonna be some really helpful people explaining in the comments below. So it's super nice. The discussion on Lee code, I would say is way better way 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 better than hacker ranks so hacker rank is definitely taking the l there so yeah there's missing solution on a bunch of the problems and not even that there's problems where they're going to ask you to join premium and more and more problems are doing this where they ask you to join premium to see the solution but it isn't a big deal because like i said in the discussion just go to the most voted you're going to get a solution that is just as good as this see you're gonna have to pay sometimes but if you go to this if you go to discussion and you look at the most voted you're going to get one of the best solutions anyway and you're going to be able to figure it out so it's not that bad all right the video is getting a little bit long here so i think it's time to wrap this up in the end i'd say that leak code is overall the better platform right now just because it has much more material to study from, the user interface is a lot nicer, and the community is just a little bit better. The solutions, the discussion, as far as everything else, uh, it's just easier to understand than the stuff on HackerRank. Everything's set up a lot nicer, the editor, and just, it's all set up. It's a lot, it's just easy. It's just easy for you to learn and get going on these algorithm problems. Really, the only two positives that HackerRank has over LeetCode is just the landing page is nice because of having this uh, percentage completion stuff right here. And uh, besides that, that's pretty much it. Besides these tracks that LeetCode doesn't have, it would be really nice if LeetCode could organize tracks, maybe for types of algorithm problems, or even add these skills and we are seeing them doing some kind of stuff like that in the explore page. If you go down to the bottom, they have these little learn things. Uh, I'm not a fan of these. I bought the premium membership and they seem to be kind of arbitrary and just grouping of questions. But uh, these are okay. And if LeetCode started grouping the questions by topic, mm, who knows? They could probably get something going and just become the best platform altogether. And uh, HackerRank would be pretty much useless if they just you know transferred the best stuff from here over into here so um if you're trying to learn a language or get comfortable with language hacker ranks definitely still good i definitely think that this uh, interview preparation kit was really good too so there's still stuff to do on hacker rank and who says you can't use both but in the end i gotta give the w to lee code here you know, that's why most of the problems I do on my channel are leak code. They're just easier to do, honestly. It takes way less time to do those than these because I don't even understand, like, some of the instructions half the time for some of these problems. So that's it. I'm giving the win to leak code here. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know what your favorite platform is. Once again, this doesn't mean I don't like HackerRank. It just means I think leak code's a little bit better right now for studying for interviews. Uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe so the channel will grow. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.